So there are two approaches to negative externalities, such as the negative effects on our climate of carbon emissions or the negative effects on our health uh, of, uh, of pollution. One is what is sometimes called a Pigovian tax because it was, after all, Arthur Pigou who first laid out the full economics of externalities. Now, this tax is essentially a way of internalizing the external costs uh, and making sure that they get taken into account by the market. The other option is to put some kind of overall limit on that negative externality, say a cap on total carbon emissions, and then auction off permits to allow companies to emit carbon up to that overall cap. And it turns out these two options are basically the same, and I show that in this mini lecture. Okay, so here, we're thinking not about the supply and demand of a good and whether it produces pollution, but we're as actually drawing here, yes, a, a de supply and demand curve for pollution um, itself. So a Pigovian tax basically sets the price of pollution, right? It says that for each unit of pollution, you have to pay some amount. And that tax basically sets the price for companies to pollute and based on the demand curve, which is basically the degree to which companies are willing to pay to pollute given the other options they have and the cost of preventing pollution, that demand curve is gonna determine what the total quantity of pollution is at that price. Now, how is that equivalent to cap and trade? Well, let's do the same thing for cap and trade. Here we have the same figure and the same downward sloping curve. Companies will com pollute less if it's more expensive to pollute, if the price of pollution is higher. But here, rather than setting the price of pollution, you set the quantity of pollution. You basically give out pollution permits. The result, if you set the quantity at the level that um, the Pigovian tax would produce is identical, right? The price ends up being the same as you would have gotten with the Pigovian tax. So if the quantity that is optimum is the same in both these examples, then the price of polluting is going to be equivalent to the level of the carbon tax.